Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. And in today's video, I would like to talk about my experiences with the Egyptian god Sobek. So, Sobek was the god of the Nile. He was considered a protector. Uh, so you would pray to him to get safely across the Nile because it is filled with his children, crocodiles. He is depicted as a um, god with a human body and a crocodile head. So he can be a very intimidating uh, figure. Also, he's known to be very volatile and act just like his uh, animal counterpart. And um, I have read uh, certain uh, tellings by people on the internet who have uh, said that they have had experiences with him where they did not go in with total like confidence and they were kind of actually afraid of him and he lashed out at them. So I, I was very slow going in contacting him because I was kind of worried myself. And as I did more research, I realized that there actually was nothing to be afraid of. It's like going into a business dealing with someone who is known to be like real tough. If you act with weakness and fear, they're not going to want to do business with you. You're not going to be worthy. And they're going to tell you to get the F out. So the first time... Uh, that I actually did a ritual to him was actually uh, in the physical world. I made an altar with, um, I have this leather crocodile statue that I put on there. I also have a statue of him. Um, I put um, an Ankh, which was a symbol of uh, life. As he is also a god of fertility, not just of uh, the land, but also of women. So people would, uh, women would pray to him to be able to give birth uh, and have children. So uh, he is, he is, he is also known. So he is known as a lot of things. He can be utilized as a protector in the in the afterlife, and he can also be a war god. He's got them all, but, um, and I just used, uh, any incense that I had lying around. Uh, I don't think we have them here, but you know, if you had reeds, uh, cause those are what grew, uh, near the Nile, then that would probably be something, or maybe, uh, a piece of driftwood or, um, a stone that you found by a lake. That could work too. Um, but uh, pretty much it just had um, paraphernalia of crocodiles. And I prayed to him for protection. Just out in general because it never hurts to have a layer of protection in this crazy topsy-turvy world. Um, and I just... I let him come to the ritual, stated my peace. I felt no fear. And he acknowledged my my offerings. He said he would help protect me. And then he left. A simple transaction. Now, the second time around, I... Um, I went to him in the astral and much like uh, the goddess Isis, when I visited her in the astral, there was an Egyptian temple. However, this time there were these little waterways in there and they were filled with crocodiles, living crocodiles. And these waterways were like all over the floor, like embedded in the floor. So there were like little uh these little pathways carved out and filled with water, which had crocodiles in it. And in the middle of this room, there was an altar with a golden statue of him. And I prayed to him and I, you know, I said, please grant me protection um, from both spiritual and physical harm. 
and uh, I gave him offerings in the astral, and uh, before I knew it, I could hear him speak, and he said, thank you for these offerings, and I shall protect you, and uh, I looked above the ceiling because that's where the voice was coming from. And when I looked back, the offerings were gone. He had taken them, which is a reoccurring theme that I find whenever I do rituals in the astral. I will leave offerings to the deities and oftentimes they will accept and take the offerings and, they, and they'll just be gone in an instant. Sometimes I don't even see them go. I just look away for a little bit and I look back, they're gone. Other times they, they'll just disappear. So, um, so what is my overall impression of him? So, yes, he can have a bit of a temper. I have never encountered this, but I do know this of him from people who have encountered it. Um, but all I can say is that, you know, you just don't show fear or weakness in front of him because he hates that. He's, he's a real tough, you know, God, uh, and Showing him that you are a confident person is showing him respect, can get him to uh, like you and respect you. So if you are afraid of him are, and afraid to communicate with him, I would suggest that you, you wait on uh, communicating with him because he is he's not going to like you. <laughs> He respects confidence and, you know, gumption, you know. For those who are actually willing to take the leap and communicate with him in a serious way. Now, I have only had those two little run-ins with him. I have not, you know, utilized him too much. But I have never felt fear. I have not felt afraid. He has never made me feel afraid. He, I actually do feel like uh, respect for him. And I know he respects me. Um, I don't know if I'll, if I need to contact him soon because I mean, I don't really feel the need to work with him right now. There's like no reason and I'm not going to contact him for no reason. I mean, technically, I could do a dedication to him, which is merely just giving offerings as thanks for the blessings that they've already given you and for watching over you. I think I could do that, yeah. I might even do it tonight. We'll see. Um, but yeah, he, he can be a god that's a little intimidating than most, like more intimidating than Isis, I feel, because Isis appears in a human form and she's very, you know, she's very approachable. While him, he's this real muscular guy with the head of a crocodile. I mean, that would be off-putting to all of us mortals, right? <laughs> you have to really get used to the idea that this this is how it is. This is how things are, um when you're dealing with the divine, especially Egyptian gods, because a lot of them are half human, half animal. So you really have to just go in expecting this, get used to the idea and realize that they are, even though they're like, a lot of them are half animal, they're, they're still people at heart, you know? And if you treat them with respect, they're going to treat you with respect. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Have a good day.